like at 3 p.m. on Friday, I was like, this is maybe a once in a lifetime experience. Like, I need to know this. Like, I can't not know what it is. So I just flew in, rented a car, drove to the desert with like, you know, three cans of Chef Boyardee and some water <laughs> and, a, and a bucket with kitty litter. <laughs> We are back on the zoo and we have our first guest, Jorge Perdomo. Woo! There we go. Uh, Guatemalan and Brazilian or Correct. Guatemalan by way of Brazil? Yeah, well, family's from Guatemala, but I grew up in Brazil. So like that's, I kind of like ended up deciding to mix my name's pronunciation a little nice. bit just as like mm -hmm. a connection to where I am. So like uh, Jorge or Jorge is Jorge. Portuguese because I grew up in Sao Paulo. And then obviously Perdomo is my Spanish side. And you know, I would always go to Guatemala, you know, to for like Christmas and New Year's and stuff, but I never really lived there. So home for me is still Sao Paulo, but I've been kind of all over the place. Well, now you're here in LA. So okay. he's the mastermind behind an immersive, uh, a lot of things going on, experience, well, music, experience. sound baths, meditation. Yep. Um, it's called the Fluffy Cloud, sorry, the Fluffy Cloud, Cloud Experience. Yes. Tell us about it, what, what exactly is it? Okay, so the Fluffy Cloud is a artwork that I created for Burning Man at the end of 2019, and I debuted it there. And basically it's this, three story tall, it's like basically 30 foot tall, giant UFO looking thing. Uh, it was meant to be a cloud and it'd be more like a spaceship, but you know, <laughs> art, art takes its own <laughs> direction yeah, right, at right, once. Right. I was upset about it for a bit, but I'm like, oh, that kind of looks cool too. Um, so, and it's this, so it's this giant structure and then inside of it, it has this really unique custom 360 sound system that like isn't like just shooting at you, but it's shooting, shooting down on you. Wow. So it's a stage, so imagine like a concert wow. festival level stage, 30 feet tall, 30 feet wow. wide, that you can go under. And like you, it creates this very unique kind of space where instead of kind of being just lined up front to back, right. it's a 360 circular experience. It's almost like, you know, globe theater, amphitheater meets, you know, modern technology meets desert insanity, you know, kind of like all together. And so that's what everything is built around. Like that was the artwork. And then what the Fluffy Cloud experience is, is my, my attempt to kind of create a much more interactive and immersive, you know, live arts and music experience. So it's not like, even though the cloud is there and it's a, obviously it's the centerpiece of what's going on, I put a lot of work into trying to create almost, uh, I kind of joke and say that it's like, you know, Super cool kind of electronic music concert meets Chuck E. Cheese because it's going to be like really <laughs> playful also. Like, I like the idea of kind of like the all in black, too cool for cool, too, too cool for school, you know, like techno kids, you know, jumping around in a seesaw on a ball pit. Like that sounds, that sounds really fun to me. So right, like right. I kind of am creating this neon fun zone with like 50 different kinetic sculptures flying over everyone's heads. That so we've crazy. created wow. this insane outdoor 3D experience. That's, so you've got like this 360 concert, you're you know, covered with this sky of kinetic sculptures, which I'm not gonna overly describe, but they're really cool. <laughs> and, then, and then there's like a bunch of games, like you know, I got Ferris wheels and you know, you know, ball pits and these like crazy seesaws and swings. And it's like, it's something where, you know, yeah, I'm just trying to create something that isn't just you know, make a stage, put a couple lasers on it, throw, right. a, diff <laughs> throw, throw a different si set of names on the, on the board. And, you know, I mean, because I love it. I've loved music and all these things for forever. But after a bit, I just kind of was like, yeah. I want something new. I want something that keeps me engaged. You have something. to recreate that going out experience now, what, especially right. in the digital age. What yeah. does it take to move the cloud around? <laughs> You're talking like, I It's like the cloud. Oh, God. So it's so it's funny. It's the actually wind. Cloud ever the made. wind. So it's actually on wheels, which okay. is crazy. It's on four giant mining casters, which I didn't know existed. And so when it's on Playa in the desert, like it actually gets towed around by a pickup. Wow. So it like rolls around. So it's wow. like a mobile stage. Okay. But, where, um, but it, that, it doesn't go through the streets. Thirty feet tall is not really <laughs> road. It's you not know? road legal. So okay. it actually lives in two fifty-three foot uh, trailers, like the big semi truck eighteen wheeler trailers. Oh wow! And it breaks breaks down and then basically it goes in those two and it actually just landed last night, which is why I'm 
I don't know, if I look tired, it's because I was receiving the trucks at four in the morning today. <laughs> yeah. So the trucks are here in LA. The cloud has yeah, yeah. landed in LA. The it left flew here from what? Northern Humberto the got right. it at the same time as the yeah, cloud. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, flew, it flew in from Nevada? Because so what you had no, no, in the... So it was actually in Miami last. Because oh, okay. like after uh, Burning Man in 2019, I took it to Art Basel in Miami. Nice. And then after Art Basel, I took it to uh, Love Burn, which is like the regional Burning Man in Miami as well. Wow. And then this thing popped up, I don't know if you've heard of it, um, COVID. So, <laughs> oh, yeah. kind of threw a little bit of a wrench in the touring plans <laughs> that I had. So it's just been sitting uh, in its you know, little trailers crying in Lakeland for 19 months or something like that. You know, I, I wanna ask, so obviously the, 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 you know, it's called the fluffy cloud experience, right? Yeah. Obviously the cloud is the focal point, that's the centerpiece. Did you, when creating this idea, did you know that why did you decide to name it that? The Fluffy Cloud? Yeah. Well, because, well, again, so it was intended to be a cloud, and it, it actually is literally fluffy. Like, if you touch it, it's soft. Oh, nice. Like, okay. yeah, so, like, the, the, ex the exterior of it, it's, like, this entire... It's part, part of the experience. <laughs> well, well, like, well, you can't really reach it. I did make it 12 feet tall at the bottom section so that... Because you know somebody at a party is going to be like, I want to go touch the crazy yeah, light up yeah, yeah. thing. Because it's also 33,000 LEDs inside of it, too, that create like a light show. And then the sound is inside, too. And it's like a, this permeable skin that has lights but also lets sound through in a really, really nice way. So, um, boys, okay, so why did I call it that? Yeah. I mean, I guess, I mean, it's, I guess it's a description. It's a fluffy, I mean, I guess now it should be more like the fluffy UFO, but. Uh, <laughs> so, okay, you, you, you brought up that, he, you started, a, what's, your, what's your tech background really quick? So I started a hardware tech company. It's actually also based on my love of music. I would always get lost at music festivals. Uh -huh. And when you have a lot of people in one area, your cell network doesn't work anymore. So I wanted a way to text and find my friends without any cell service. So I, I co-founded a company called Gotenna, I which uh, creates a little device that lets phones communicate over long distances. Like little walkie-talkie things. Based, that's yeah. exactly, wow. I mean, yes, that is exactly the best way to describe it, but it's like a long-range encrypted mesh network system, and that's, you know, we actually ended up not doing a whole lot in like the music space. We ended up doing a lot more in like hiking, skiing, and oh, now uh, military contracting. So th did you, you, you sold this company, I'm assuming? No, so you haven't I, no, no, What's I have not, on? unfortunately. What's it called? Uh, Gotenna. 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 I mean, I wish I had exited. Then I, I wouldn't be so anxious right now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but why, why, why did you want to make this? I mean, the, the Fluffy Cut experience, I'm assuming you're going to be doing this often, right? Yeah, yeah, it's happening it. in, in LA. We'll have this up online, but when this airs on broadcast, it will yeah. already ha have happened, but you're going to take it across the country? Is it yes. like a touring thing? Like That's the plan, forward. yeah. The plan is to create a, like, a, like a touring experience where it's going along. I'm adding new elements all the time. and. Yeah, I mean, I guess like I always loved it, and I think I came to this point in my life where like I was, you know, I was, I'd been a co-tenant for six years, and it was great. But you know, as the kind of inventor, creator, engineering guy behind it, after a certain point in any tech company, you start getting kind of transitioned more into like, all right, now you have to help us sell it because the product uh, is done. Right. I spent like 190 days in a hotel, like my last year and a half at the company, and it was just sort of like the same powerpoints over and over, and I wasn't really creating anymore. And I could tell I wasn't very happy at that point. I was already starting to look at, you know, different things I wanted to do. And then I happened to go to my first Burning Man in 2018. Ooh. And then... That's always and a transformative changing. <laughs> yeah. it, was, it was very life-changing. He's <laughs> gone. You've gone yeah. multiple times. I, I went 2014, 15, and 17. Nice. Yeah. I was going to go. Did you go to the Renegade Burn this year? I went for eight hours, and then I was too anxious about this show, so I left. And got back to work. <laughs> you were too anxious about the fluff, the fluffy cut experience, I not, the zoo, the right? <laughs> <laughs> not the zoo, right? Like, yes, I don't know who had bookies, yeah. but my friend Stefan, who I believe went into your fluff, because I remember him talking about something like this. Yeah. Um, so what? Did you fly in and fly out? How did you? I, by the way, just so that people know, the Burning Man has yeah. been off because of COVID, but they had a renegade burn. People just showed up at the playa, no, the desert, uh, desert yeah. Black Rock Desert this yeah. year. So you went. What'd you do? I basically got a bunch of things done. I need to get done, and like at 3 p.m. On Friday, I was like, this is maybe a once in a lifetime experience. Like, I need to know this. Like, I can't not know what it is. So I just flew in, rented a car, drove to the desert with like, you know, three cans of Chef Boyardee and some water <laughs> and, a, and a bucket with kitty litter. <laughs> a hearty uh, meal. Because there's no, there's no porta potties. So, like, you have to kind of, because again, because the org, the, the org wasn't there. Again, it's Renegade Burn right. and the BLM was trying to stop people from coming too much. So they banned all like sanitary services or anything else like that. So like a bunch of people were there with like you know kitty litter buckets and whatnot, wow. and, for themselves. By yeah, the way. for themselves. Yeah. For themselves. Yes. Okay. Of course. <laughs> no, I mean you got to make it up. 
And then I went, it was great for like six, seven hours, and then I was like actually seeing a Diplo that played on the cloud at, at, in 2019, oh, was sick. throwing this great set in the morning on Saturday. But then I was, as I was watching at him on Robot Heart doing this set, I was just like, all I could think of is like, I have so much of stuff course. to do. You were already thinking about it. I have so yourself. much stuff to yeah. do, I gotta go. So what, you drove in by yourself? I drove in by okay, myself. Okay, so you and were like was, with a group, you, you were like, okay, I, I yeah, gotta Yeah, I ended up finding that some friends, but then yeah, I was there at two, I, I arrived at 2 a.m. to the desert, I left at 10 a.m., and then I was back, and I was actually really good because there's a lot of stuff I had to still do. So, but I, I heard that it was because there it wasn't outlined. Like people were just like camping in the middle of the playa, so it was hard to keep, to know where you oh, were. Oh yeah, you would super get lost. Yeah, it's it's incredibly difficult to get. Lo it's, I mean, it's easy to get lost at Burning Man anyway. But I parked next to a giant crane that had a shining. Uh, uh, disco, disco ball, ball yeah. penis on it. Yeah. Uh, it was huge. It was massive. And it was like it was like 30 feet in the 30, 40, 50 feet in the air. So like that was Calm like. Calm down, Nikki. I know, that's, that, that's why like you know. I, You've never been, right? You, <laughs> Not yet. Because no, I thought of it, I was like, I need a waypoint, and that was on a on a giant 50 foot foot 50 foot uh, you know lift crane. I was like, that's probably not going to move. So. Even that's though I was lost hilarious. at the end, I was like, where's the penis? <laughs> where, where, where is that? Like, Calm down, Nikki. All right, cool. <laughs> Sounds like my weekend. No, but what I want to ask you about, too, is, you know, obviously you have the first LA event, you have Mind Against headlining. Yes. Yeah. What is the music aspect like? Is it more EDM? Is it more yeah. dance? No, so like, not, not EDM, not EDM. It's, uh, it's melodic techno. It's Great. more, it's actually a sound that is not often found in the United States. It's more like German and French. And that was actually a big part of the reason for why I built the cloud is because I wanted to bring a different kind of sound here. So uh, my name is actually an Italian DJ. And then before him, we have uh, Sant V that is Mexican. Before her, him, we have... Ooh, yeah, Sant you, V. I, I, yeah, I saw we him have, on, on Mind Warrior. Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. Um, and then we have uh, Yulia Nico from Germany before that. And then we have Lauren Mia, who's an amazing artist that's on Anjuna Deep now that's uh, uh, earlier. And that, that's, that's here from L.A. And then before that, we have this, like, acoustic, electronic, you know, like, I'm talking like electric cello, electric violin, electric guitar, electric drums right. with a DJ. So how, how can people, uh, is there a website they can go to to find out if, if maybe you're coming to their town next? Or, yeah, or absolutely. So schedule. the easiest way to keep track with us, and the only thing I sometimes update is uh, our Instagram page, which is at Real Fluffy Cloud. Mm -hmm. um, we also have a website, which is thefluffycloud.org. And we'll be posting, you know, all the, whatever the tour ends up looking like. Right now, I'm only looking at LA, and then we'll figure out what happens afterwards. Yeah, we're just coming back slowly. Yeah, yeah little yeah, by yeah. little. But yeah, real fluffy cloud on uh, on Instagram is where we'll be announcing anything as it comes along. Are you a Scorpio? No. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. I'm the second most disliked sign. Taurus! No! Oh, second most disliked? Yeah, yes, no, yes. It's really just Taurus and Scorpio. Cancer. Gemini. <laughs> People, oh. I like Gemini, maybe because I'm an Aries. <laughs> Gemini's get, and me get along, but you're right, Gemini's are crazy. All right, listen, thank you for coming, yeah. man. We'll be following the Fluffy Cloud thank experience on Instagram, and, and, and I hope you have more in LA, and, and hopefully I go to, Bur hopefully there's a Burning Man next year and that we can experience something like that Exactly, over there. I'm trying to get it back there. This is a fundraiser to try to get it back to Burning Man. Yeah, yeah. all this is is so that we can take it back and continue to share it with people.